Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's third video. We're going to have a look at the weather for this 10 to 14 days for today's third video. So day 10 will take us to the 27th of August. And we'll be able to set up beyond that with your set of and ECM ensembles. Maybe run to Radical Winks. Of course, have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And uh, that gets us into the middle part of uh, September now. I'll get on back for you in a moment. Just say the first video today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. And we've also released the 8 Autumn update. Check out those two vids if you'd like to do that, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos of content. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. A bit late with this one, so I'm going to crack on quickly as I can. Right, let's start off in the tropical, subtropical Atlantic. Three interest areas a yellow X just here, disturbance one, only 10% chance of cyclone face with that one. Don't have to worry too much about that. And then we have got a disturbance two, a 20% chance of cyclone face in. In the next seven days. Don't think you have to worry too much about that one either. But we do have to worry about this one uh, because this is Hurricane Erin giving maximum state winds currently of 125 miles per hour. Clicking on Erin. And going here, we can see that this major category three hurricane currently is going to be pushing northwards between Bermuda and the Bahamas, heading up into the central Atlantic, still as a hurricane, so it gets in towards the North Atlantic around Friday. Now, if we go to discussion, we can see that, uh, well, currently giving maximum sustained winds of 125 miles per hour. Uh, in the next 24 hours, it's going to go up to 145 miles per hour, which is a high-end category for Hurricane. Uh, and then gradually start to come down later on through the course of uh, next week. I did see last night this was being predicted to reach Category 5 Hurricane status with maximum state winds of 160 miles per hour. I think they've uh, rode back on that. Uh, a little bit uh, now, but obviously it's a very dangerous storm, and quite an unpredictable storm as well, I think, this one uh, too, so it'll be interesting to see how powerful it does get in uh, the next day or so. Maybe it reached Category 5 status overnight and has, has weakened temporarily or something, not sure. Anyway, um, that's how things are currently looking with Hurricane Erin. Right, coming to home, well, much quite seen here, high pressure dominating the weather again today, but if we drag the map around, that is how Hurricane uh, Erin is looking on these charts. So that is what uh, a major hurricane uh, looks like. Very, very dramatic to say the least. Central England temperature is sitting at uh, 18.3, about two and a half degrees above 699 average provisional to the 15th of August. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensembles. Looking at Birmingham today, the red line is 30 year upper air temperature, actual Birmingham. Of course, we're starting off above average with the upper air temperature at the moment, but they're going to come down uh, later next week, starting to uh, cool down a little bit, but then lifting up again as we go into the last days of uh, August. Precipitation wise, got a dry weather to come over next week. Looks more unsettled though to uh, months and possibly lasting into the start of September but of course that's a, a very long way out extended range and therefore it's unreliable. Temperature anomaly is for the next uh, five days, 22nd of August, below average in the east above average in the west precipitation anomaly is next seven days, 24th of August, all areas drier than normal. Right, let's go through chart day. Then, Miss Abelace, she came at your run, looking for uh, midnight on Wednesday. High pressure to the north of Scotland, bringing in a northeast wind. Quiet weather, but could be a little bit on the cloudy side. Probably quite cool as well, I would have thought, at the end of the week. As we go to the back holiday weekend, just signs of that high pressure starting to uh, weaken with some lower pressure. Heading in from off the Atlantic. I can't again, a lot of dry weather through most of the next week, but not a heat wave. Wind's coming in from the north, northeast, so it will be a bit of a cool side, probably quite cloudy in the east. There, of course, is uh, Aaron moving into the North Atlantic. And as we go through into Bank Holiday Weekend, well, the risk really continues and it remains to be seen what, if any effect, Erin will have. That gets us to next Sunday, 24th of August. We've got KMA looking like this. So, again, uh, ridging through the second half of next week. Not overly warm, though. Then the high pressure breaks down over Bank Holiday Weekend. That's Bank Holiday Monday with low pressure containment 
containing the remains of Erin, starting to move in for Atlantic and bring wet and windy weather in with it. So unsettled with the K of A by month's end, dare I say it, even perhaps a tad or terminal. And then we've got the GFS Midnight Road again. High pressure originally through the country, continuing into the bank holiday weekend. Erin knocking on the door by bank holiday Monday. And Erin does eventually, well, the remains of Erin, eventually breaks down the ridge. It turns more unsettled as we get to day 10 and beyond it. Low pressure is well and truly in control. Although by 2nd of September, end of GFS Midnight Road, the ridge again, it started to try and rebuild from the Azor. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, GFS 6 then. In comparison, hold on. <coughs> oh dear, make myself cough. GFS 6 then. In comparison, rich through the country. Through back holiday weekend, gradually weakening, breaking down. So by start of the following week, by Tuesday 26th of uh, August, Bob back holiday, low pressure is in control. That low does contain remains of Erin. Uh, so it looks like Erin is going to break down the ridge in terms of unsettled. Maybe see whether that's a temporary, temporary, temp temporarily unsettled spell or whether, you know, it's something fundamental. Uh, that's how we get through to the end of GFS. Sid said, run. Also a bit unsettled. Further low pressure is waiting in wings downstream. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure to share everyone for dear Matt. Drop a comment. Let's say what you think about this and all my videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about the house. Don't to subscribe to. Make sure everyone for dear Matt. About 20 subscribers will get us to 20.5k. Could give us up. That'd be awesome. Thanks so much, everyone. Right, GM. Again, high pressure. Dominating weather through next week. Gradually breaking down the ridge, though. So as we move into back holiday weekend, weakening pressure and eventually by day 10 low pressure starts coming from off Atlantic turning more unsettled about days 8, 9, 10. Uh, the, the ECM rounds it all off high pressure ridges through the country into a bank holiday weekend gradually weakening so by bank holiday Monday low pressure containing the rains of Erin knocking on the door of UK and Ireland that low pressure brings wet and windy weather in from off the Atlantic beyond day 10 of the extended actually Looks quite unsettled even at the start of September. This is a precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from Tometio.com. So, going to be a lot of dry weather over the next few days. Of course, uh, in fact, some places probably won't get any measurable rain for the next 10 days. Eventually, some wet weather starts coming in from off the Atlantic. And by about day nine, that's when the change happens with bands of rain beginning to move in from the west. These are the options on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets the 27th of August. 24 members of the ECM Ensemble with low pressure. Coming in from off the Atlantic, that low will contain the remains of Hurricane Erin, of course. We've got 15, including the control of the operation run, even more unsettled, low pressure one truly in control. And we've got 12 just about hanging on uh, to the ridge in two weeks' time. These are the options that we've got. It will be getting us to the 1st of September, 25 members of the ECM on some, probably with some sort of upper level trough through uh, the west of Europe. We've got 19 again with some sort of upper level trough. And then we've got a minority option, 7 uh, with higher pressure. It looks as though at day 10, we're turning unsettled there, courtesy of the remains of Erin. As I say, whether that's a uh, whether that's a temporary change, and we, well, as soon as air is blowing through, we go back to high pressure, or whether that's a fundamental change, and the pattern is shifting into September, remains to be seen. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. Going to be interesting to see how this plays out once Erin has uh, gone through. CFSB2, finally, these are 500 millibar. Height and I'll just break it down into week periods. The first week period takes from 16th to 22nd of August. High pressure to the north of the UK in the next week. Week two is going to be the 23rd to the 29th of August. Chop of low over Scandinavia. A ridge is out to our west. Week three, this is a change from the CFS. So now high pressure uh, from the 30th of August, 5th September. High pressure remains in control. Do, do, do. CFS has been going for an unsettled start to September, but high pressure still there. And still more or less still there or thereabouts in week four as well. That's the 6th to the 12th of September 
with high pressure still just about to ourselves and also away to the north. It's probably a chaff through here, but it looks quite weak. CFS is shifting back to a higher pressure outlook again uh, for the early part of September. It remains to be seen. It's going to be interesting how it works out. Uh, okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe. Make sure you're for doing that. Drop a comment. Let's know. Nothing about this. All my videos are content. Don't forget to tell friends about the gas. I'll be kept right too. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we're going to, going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast and a 10 14 day as well. And tomorrow, from tomorrow, we're going to start announcing daily our winning calendar entries for the 2026 Gowsworth calendar. So you remember a few weeks ago, we was asking you to submit photos for our calendar. Well, from tomorrow, uh, we're going to start doing daily announcements on the socials and in the uh, 10 to 14 days to do daily announcements uh, showing you uh, each individual uh, photo for each individual month and uh, the person or the name of the person that uh, took that photo. So that's uh, something to uh, look forward to starting from tomorrow. Well, I've got another shift at Watford Gap. So if you're on the M1 this afternoon, going northwards through Northamptonshire, pop in, and I'm into the evening as well, pop in and uh, I'll, uh, I'll serve your pasta. Maybe you want a carbonara or a bolognese. <laughs> well, uh, I'll see you then if you do. But otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow. This one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.